Hi guys, Rob here with Deluxe Gaming, and welcome back to my Star Drive 2 series, and this is episode 7, and we are in trouble. <laughs> if you remember from the last episode, well, I mean, this whole this whole series has been absolutely insane. I've never had a game like this, and I've, I've played quite a few starts with, with uh, a number of different races, but this one specifically has just been... It's been an uphill battle, and I think I, I think the one ch difference I made, or the one thing that I did different with this particular startup, is that I gave gave less planets available. Usually, I start with a hundred hundred systems, but I wanted it to be a little bit smaller so that the uh, let's play didn't go on for six years. <laughs> and it's certainly not going to go on for six years. We may not make it past this episode. I have no idea what's going to happen here. Um, okay, so here's here's a, here's the rundown. The Volfar have a just attacked. We have guardians that are destroying our freighters, getting to our second pla our second planet. It's like turn, I don't know what turn is it. I don't know if it says that on here somewhere. Uh, it's start eight. I don't know what that doesn't that doesn't tell me anything. I don't know what turn it is, but it's it's like it's many many turns in. We finally got a second planet colonized, and uh, we start sending freighters. And there's a and there is some kind of guardian in here destroying the freighters as they come through. I'm being attacked at our new planet by pirates coming in fast. It's going to be 15 turns before we finally build a star base there. <laughs> and there's nothing I could do about it. Um, we have, uh, well, I think this, this planet will survive. Um, but this one, I don't know. There is a Volfar fleet that just came into the system. And there's like 10 ships. <laughs> All right. Uh, and we do have some defenses here. Uh, we do have a star base, and we've got a small fleet with small ships and... and uh, what's that? A oh, and a colony ship. <laughs> uh, uh, blast. Okay. Uh, you know what? We're going to take the colony ship and the fuel freighter, and we're going to send them off. You know, if, if, if we lose this planet... <sighs> you know, if I was playing alone and I lost this planet, I would say that that's it. We're done. But... You know, maybe, maybe we could still survive. We're just going to launch ourselves into a new system. You know, as as in, in reality, if you were if you were nearly dead, you'd want to launch yourself away as far away from the disaster as possible and start over, right? So maybe we could do that, but I I don't know. It's not looking good. Okay, hopefully the starbase is enough to protect us, but we haven't put any research into new technologies for combat, so I don't know. I have no idea if this is going to work or not. Let's just hit turn and see what happens. Oh, why? I don't understand. So our our small fleet is inter. Oh, who's this? So we're intercepting this ship. So this looks like another little Volfar ship that's maybe an explorer. So our little ships have intercepted his explorer. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. Uh, so his explorer probably doesn't have much other than fuel on it, and he's probably gonna try to retreat right away. Uh, we still kick. Oh, we can still... Yeah, they need to fix that so that you can make a box around it and get take all the ships and move them in one little uh, formation. That'd be awesome. And we're going to begin pause. And because you still can't highlight the entire fleet, even though they all have the same special ability, which is power to engines, you can't highlight them all and hit power to engines. You individually... Ah, oh, it's so frustrating. Okay, so we can set their target as this little ship, just because I think they're he's probably going to try to get away. And we want to prevent that. So power to engines... And you can't do this, you can't do the power to engines thing before you start the battle. You have to start the battle and pause it, because if you hit the power to engines, which you can before you actually start the battle, um, it doesn't do anything when you actually start it. It actually uses up all that power before you even start the battle. It's really weird. I don't know, it's, it's a buggy thing, but whatever. Let's see if we can catch him. He's tiny. Where is he? I can't even see him. There he is. Tiny. Okay, unpause. Oh, he's, he's actually going to try and fight us. Um, these ships will rip him apart. <laughs> Uh, they may be small, little, tiny frigate, frigates, but uh, they have a lot of missiles, and uh, they will devour him. We shall eat them! The flies! The dark ghosts! Now, I'm going to try to name all of our ships after even even your names. I'm going to twist them so that they're kind of bug-like. Oh, yeah. He's he's in trouble. Look at that! Oh, beautiful! These may be small little ships, but uh, you know those rockets kick butt. Awesome! And they got a little bit of experience. They're almost level 2. I have... IVF tracker, so a Volfar tracker. <laughs> Destroyed! Destroyed! Destroy them! <laughs> the Volfar are really gunning to kill me now. There we go. This is going to be a tough fight. I, I'm not going to lie to you. I'm not feeling overly confident, depending on what research they have uh, 
been diving into. Uh, I don't know if these are advanced ship or not ships or not. IVF Wound, IVF Carnage, IVF Hunter. I'm presuming that they're probably going to be a lot of ballistic weapons. So like missiles and artillery and stuff like that. Okay, so we're going to bring all these ships back. And they're going to go intercept uh, once everybody gets closer. And they're going to go for... I don't know. I don't know. Should, I think we go after the little ships, take care of them first, and I don't know. I have no idea. So begin pause. Okay, and you have to be, you have to start the battle before you can make your control groups too. So you can do. Actually, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do control one, control two, control three, control four, control five. Okay, so uh, unpause. Here they come. So he's sending in a couple of small ships. And maybe we should send our all of our little guys after the big guys. I don't know. Usually, oh, look at the artillery is taking out. <laughs> it's taking out. Actually, we can tell the starbase who we want the starbase to fire at. Okay, so actually, I'm going to pause it. Okay, these guys are getting close enough. I want the starbase to focus all of its firepower on the cruiser. And, of course, our little guys are going to take out the little guys. Yeah. Let's do that. I guess we could have done our 1 and 5 there. Okay, so 1 and 5 are launched. Go get them. Perfect. Okay, so... Really, he's dividing his forces, which is really interesting. So these must be... Maybe they're fuel tankers or something? It could be. Uh, so I'm actually going to bring these two guys back around. These guys are going to go up north. And the starbase is continuing to fight the cruiser, which just makes sense. You know, do as much damage as we can. He's actually taken a lot of damage already. Wow. Uh, maybe they don't have much for point defense uh, with against these missiles or something? I don't know. I don't know if any missiles have hit yet. Uh, look at that. Okay, so we've got to turn these guys around, otherwise, because they don't have any point defense on their rear. Same with these guys. So I got to come back around. All the point de point defenses in the front, which means that missile's probably going to hit. Okay. Ah, uh, see, look, the missiles are all going after the little guys. That's fantastic. Um, I'd rather that they go after the little guys, actually. Oh, that's great. I don't care if you kill the little ships. That doesn't bother me. Okay, let's start going after one of these medium-sized ships. Uh, if they're going to be that distracted by the little guys, uh, we may actually win this because the star base is what's going to apply all the damage. Oh, we killed the cruiser! Oh, fantastic! We, uh... Oh, okay. I guess it's too late to pull him back now. <laughs> Alright, well, let's just sit here and do point defense for the star base until they get close enough again. Uh, or just stay out of range and just kind of take some of those missiles away. Perfect! Oh, that's fantastic. Um, I doubt that these frigates will be able to do enough damage to cause any serious problems. And, yeah, see our frigates are doing some bypass damage. Just flying by. Whoops. Star base. <laughs> Perfect. Oh, turn around. Turn. Turn. Actually, you got to turn this way. Ah, there we go. <laughs> just keep them distracted. That's all we're doing is keeping those ships distracted while the star base just wrecks them. Look at the starbase is just crushing them. Who cares if I lose a couple of these ships? Yeah, they got experience, but they were never designed uh, to survive. These little ships, the ghosts, are designed to die. And they just apply as much damage as they can. They're fast so that they can, you know, fly by and do a little bit of damage. But really, they're, they did everything perfectly. So now the starbase has enough point defense to be able to defend against all these missiles. And it will just crush these remaining ships, which I'm sure are just... Uh, utility ships, like fuel ships and stuff like that. Uh, maybe long-range artillery or something. I don't see any artillery, though. Just, just missiles. Ooh, we are taking damage. Yeah, this does have flak guns on it, I believe. Yeah, flak guns and artillery. Uh, and we are starting to... Well, they are, they're staying at a, quite a range, actually. Ooh, those missiles. Look at them all coming in. But we're still in the green. We're still in the green, and we are really starting to beat up... There we go. One down. <laughs> Stay focused on the guy that's closest. Looks like he's turning around. Why is he turning around? Is he maybe thinking about leaving? I would. <laughs> Honestly, there is no hope of you winning this battle. If I was the Volfar, I'd be like, time to go. But they're like, <laughs> let's get him. Let's get him. <laughs> Bad dog. 
Bad dog. Consider this your intergalactic newspaper. <laughs> Bad dog. Oh, looks like we shot down a missile with a uh, artillery there. That was interesting. I think I've seen that before. Maybe I'm wrong. It just kind of looked like it. Okay, yeah, he's he's burning shot. There's no way to speed up these uh, battles, by the way. Uh, I, there's no. Uh, if there is a way, I don't know it. I don't think you can speed them up. Uh, that was a fun battle. I'm, I'm really impressed, actually. And I think the Starbase would have taken way more damage had we not had the, the ghosts here. So we're going to have to replenish them. But in the meantime, uh, we pretty much probably eliminated the Volfar's ability to wage war in one shot, which is fantastic. Uh, let's... Uh, seven. Yeah, seven. All right, so let's keep that at seven. We got a little bit of research in there, and let's just check our other planet. I am totally impressed. We are not dead yet. <laughs> Starbase is coming along. Uh, we have. We're not making any money right now. Uh, let's just see if we can't micromanage that a little bit. So yeah, at five, five percent. Yeah, we want a little bit of income. That really does affect how long things take. So let's just leave it at five for now. We're not making money, but that's okay. <laughs> okay, and there's our colony ship. We need to send them out this direction. There's going to be a pirate coming in to Ugermen very soon. <laughs> oh, no! No, 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 no. That's the pirate. Ah, oh, blast. Son of a... Okay, so we got to send them back. Damn it. <laughs> okay, send them back. Uh... Send them home. <sighs> okay, another freighter gone. <laughs> this is why we need to get food systems. We need the charging bay out here, and, and with the food system here, we can send those freighters back and forth between these systems once we get them colonized. But the trick is to get the ships out there. So let's send them out here. No, they're still coming after us. Okay, Kolrathi, applaud your creative spirit. We seek to trade for your aeroponic farm. Okay, this time I'm actually going to trade with him. And somebody had suggested, so let's just see what kind of technologies he has. Uh, plasma cannons. Which, class 1 shields. Since we're going fusion power, I will do that because, oh, that's... We're never going to get that from him. See, the value is 900, whereas the value of the aeroponic farm is only 240. We'll never get that. Uh, yeah, that's that's just way too advanced. Mass driver, no. Plasma cannons, 240. Uh, yeah, let's go for plasma cannons. I don't. You don't need ordnance for plasma cannons, so uh, just energy. So that kind of works. It kind of fits. Now, uh, we can't confirm that deal, and even though the value is the same, uh, we've got to throw something in to sweeten the deal. And somebody had suggested all you have to do is like a payment of one. Oh, no. Oh. They want like, but this will this will mend relations with them too, which is important right now because uh, we need friends more than we need enemies. So we're gonna give them ninety bucks, which ninety billion credits, which is a lot. We're gonna give them the aeroponic farms, and we're gonna get the plasma cannons. Uh, it seems like a bad deal on our part, but we need to mend mend the bridges there, and maybe we can even get a non-aggression pact and maybe ally with them because we need an ally bad. Uh, okay, we need to get these guys home. <laughs> they're not. They're just not gonna let up. Uh, okay, get home, get home! Did we just, uh, what just happened? Something happened. I wasn't paying attention. Okay. More Volfar! Ah. How long until that ship is done? Two turns! Can we speed that up to one? Probably not. We could buy it. That's not a bad idea. Yeah, that's not a bad idea. Let's just buy it. So if you buy it, you don't need anything in production. You can just go confirm. Yeah, we could buy 56 production with 112 billion credits. That'll get it up in one turn. We don't need any production for that turn. So everything's into research, so that's really good. And we'll have that capital ship up right away. <laughs> oh, this is fun. Super fun. Actually, I'm, I'm, I'm probably enjoying this more than any other game I've played just because it's been such a challenge. And this is probably another scout. Yeah, he's just a scout, but we're going to intercept him if we can. Okay, so let's go. There is our first capital ship. I, I can't pronounce the name of the ship. The Het Heterochromia Iridium Beetle. Ha <laughs> ha. Okay, and we're going to rename the fleet to the... Uh, after somebody else. Somebody else had suggested for a fleet name the Baj... Brigade. There. 
Good. Uh, who was that? That was... Uh, Badge 800 suggested that name. Okay, so that's the Badge Brigade. We're going to be adding ships to that fleet, but right now it's just one ship. So we're going to go intercept that ship. <laughs> and this guy here... So did the pirates... Did they go after the Guardian then? We don't even know. Okay, so let's... We're going to send the ship back out. Now that it's lost interest of the Guardians, we're going to go as far out this way as we can and then come back around. It's going to take a while to get there, but we're going to get there. <laughs> And, uh, okay, so we are now research lab. Uh, yeah, okay, so now let's put back into there. We need to get so much. We need so much here. Uh, let's do a citizen, and then we're going to do some more dark ghosts, because they were awesome. I loved those ships. Uh, there's no way. I wish this, you could, ah. This screen is too small. It's really hard to set up your cues when you can't see everything. But I also like to have long cues because I tend to forget what I'm doing, so it's good to have lots of stuff in the queue. Okay, uh, and this is a reminder, right? You know. Okay, so we'll do uh, one dark citizen. No, we'll do one dark ghost, then a citizen, then a research lab. So dark ghost will take two turns. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. Two turns, awesome. And uh, there we go. <laughs> uh, so intercept, intercept, and how's your starbase coming? Eight turns. Oh, we might just we might just make it. I bet you that pirate got uh, sidetracked by the Guardian. And the pirate will get eaten by that Guardian. Okay, so this should be pretty straightforward. This is our first battle with this... The Beetle. I love it. The Iridium Beetle. Het 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 heterochromia. Iridium Beetle. <laughs> I loves it. Okay, begin. Oh, is he going to retreat? Probably not. Where is he? He's really small. There he is. And powered engines. There we go. He's not a fast ship. This is not a fast ship. Uh, he does some of our have some artillery on him, I believe. Oh no, that's right. We just went with uh, power weapons, which is fine. Uh, so that his intercept range will make his intercept range about there. That way, he he will fire at max range, which is fine. Um, and he's going to attack and keep moving. And he's not retreating. So this will be a first first time look at the combat ability of our cruiser. Look at it. I love the colors, actually. That looks awesome. Uh, somebody was on glue while painting the ship. Okay, he is firing. Uh, we do have some point defense. Uh, in, we have some small point defense guns as well as some big guns that can act as point defense. So, and he looks like he's just a big missile ship, so I think we should be okay. Maybe? Why are you not firing point defense? What's going on? What is going on? Why, why are you not firing? Why... Why are we not firing our point defense? What the heck just happened? Explain that. I don't understand why he wasn't firing his, uh, the laser turrets. That's weird. And I'm pretty sure we had some small point defense weapons too. He was like he was stunned or something. Very bizarre. Oh, maybe powered engines. Hold on. Power, uh, redirect main power. Uh, performance cost doubling their power drain for 30 seconds running out of power. We'll cancel the skill and push them to cool down. Maybe, maybe we just didn't have the power. We weren't charged up or something. Uh, yeah, now the big lasers. Oh, yeah, the big lasers are just tearing him apart. Look at that. Awesome. It's more reliable in a lot of ways than uh, ships that use ordnance or use ballistics and ordnance in the sense that I don't have to worry about running out. I will always have enough guns or enough power to run those as long as they don't get shot out, right? So actually, it was, it's it's a good example of a... Now, the problem is it doesn't do as much damage. Uh, hostile fleet, fantastic. Where? Oh, they're still sitting on the outskirts. Oh, they're gonna attack, uh, of course. We're gonna need more freighters too. Because <laughs> they keep getting shot down. Ah, uh, okay, that's fine. Okay, head back home. Oh, we could probably take out those pirates with that ship, but I, I want one at least a couple escorts with the ship before we do that. So let's uh, do a little bit of micromanagement here. There we go. Yeah, there goes our freighter. Solar armor is a sensible marriage of photovoltaic technology with traditional armor plating, and it's awesome. I want to upgrade all of our ships to that. I'm not going to do that right now, um, but soon. And we're going to go for the... So we've got plasma guns now, or plasma, the plasma, whatever they are, the plasma guns, whatever, they do uh, DOT, damage over time. Um, we're going to definitely go for the power, but is there anything else that we can get that's pretty quick? We don't want plasteel armor because we've got the solar armor. Fighters, I don't care so much about uh, polymer armor for our troops. Eh, 
eh, and then there's experimental research, eh, uh, which gives us, there's some specific race specific stuff as well as some random that's thrown in there. Uh, I think we'll go for their fusion power and then we can do a full ship upgrade with the solar panels as well, or the solar armor. Okay, so uh, pirates are just lingering in this area. Yeah, weird. Okay, so I'm going to send these guys right out this way. Um, and hopefully we don't get intercepted from pirates from that direction. And uh, let's just... Oh, citizens. Okay, so he's building a citizen. Let's uh, micromanage. We only have, you know, a couple planets. Might as well micromanage, right? Whoops. There we go. And we see if we can bring that down to six. Yeah, we can do six. Five? No five. We can do six, though, for a new citizen. Uh, we still need a couple more citizens here. And we're going to need a couple more citizens at our other place. And... I don't know if we're going to be able to make... There was that uh, mission to get a new system, a third system within 25 turns. I don't think we're going to make it. <laughs> uh, maybe. We'll go one more out here. There we go. Now we should be able to go directly towards Cylon and colonize a planet. Finally. And how are we doing for our star base? Oh, three turns. Fantastic. We're actually doing okay. I'm actually pretty impressed. Uh, for, uh freighter. Classic freighters, man. It is what it is. Uh... Okay, so Starbase should be done in like one turn. And then we're gonna go for the charging thing. <sighs> I guess, I guess, I guess we could, we could do that. Yeah, still need food though. We'd have to do two of those so that we didn't use freighters. <laughs> that's, that's, that's terrible. We could do that for this turn. Uh, yeah, do that for this turn because it's only one turn for the Starbase. Yeah, I guess. Okay, so, uh, hostile fleet entering space. Let's see, where's he going? Oh, he's coming back. He's just he's just sitting out there destroying our freighters. What a nice guy. Wow, that's so nice of him. So what we're going to do, actually, is we're going to build uh, more of these dark ghosts. Before we do the research lab, we're going to do more dark ghosts, and then we're going to intercept that pirate fleet. Uh, maybe even one more dark ghost, and we should have enough to take out that pirate fleet. <laughs> Probably have enough with that cruiser, but I'm not going to take the chance. Okay, so citizen... Built Dark Ghost two turns. We can bring that in a little bit more micromanagement. Uh, you guys, I hope you guys aren't getting sick of my micromanagement. But you can really, you can really do a lot more if you're really watching how things are being built in your. Okay, so there we go. So uh, no freighters coming in. It would be 22 turns to build that charging hub. But uh, it, and while providing for our own food, the advantage here is that we wouldn't have, won't have freighters traveling across the galaxy. And speaking of freighters, let's see if we can't make a trade negotiation with these guys again. Now that we've kind of mended the fences, let's see here. Can we do a trade rates? Trade rates. Uh, we don't quite have enough tolerance. Tolerance builds up over time. Hmm. Yeah, so I, uh, I guess we'll just wait on that. What about... Uh, yeah, see, we still have... We st you have to... Tolerance kind of decreases. This decreases over time, then you can... Of course, do it again. So non-aggression pact, yeah, not even close. Okay, so we gotta wait. We gotta wait before we can do any more deals with them. Can we? I don't really want peace with the, with the uh, Volfar. I want them to keep throwing their their ships against my starbase. That's what I want. Okay, and yeah, so it's gonna take a long time to build that charging hub, but that's okay. We're not really in a panicky rush, and we're starting to lose money. So let's adjust our tax rates slightly. So we're... Plus one would be nice, but... Man, that really does affect everything. <sighs> okay, Dark Coast. Let's just double check our stuff since we adjusted our tax rate. Okay, that, that's fine. Two turns for that. And then we're going to start going after the pirates. One more one more Dark Coast and we should be good to go. Okay, there we go. Uh, oh, Wormhole Institute built in zero. I love these. These, these are kind of depending on what you do in the game, things happen. I, I really like it. Uh, like you get these events that are strictly related to where you're starting, what you're building in your planets and stuff. I love it. Um, due to your investment in the sciences at one in the zero system, a branch of nonprofit, uh, a branch of the nonprofit Wormhole Institute has opened a study hoping to study the effects of the nearby wormhole. They are requesting government funds to help purchase some of the very expensive equipment they will need to probe the wormhole's secrets, and this is why it's important to have money on hand. Ah, if we had money, we would be able to invest in the study of wormholes. Ah, blast, but we don't have any money. That sucks. Ah, that sucks. And once we build that charging hub, we're going to have even less money. Man, that blows. But we, uh, yeah, yeah, I don't know. 
we're kind of stuck right now. There's not much we can do. Okay, so we've got our fleet. Should be ready to go. Good enough. Let's... Let's go see if we can't take care of those pirates. Off we go. Uh, we're going to need another fuel fuel tanker. Uh, but we do have two. I wonder if maybe we should send this one back this way now that the Starbase, Starbase is built. Not that this would have offered much for protection. We'll send this ship back this way, which is another fuel ship. It's, a, it's, a, it's our start. Yeah, it's, no, it's our fuel tanker. So we'll send that back home. And then we've got a fuel tanker to go with our main fleet too as well. And we're going to be at Cylon soon and actually landing... Uh, which means we're going to be setting up freighters again, but that's okay. Uh, Large Tundra is where we're going to land. Hopefully we get that bonus of money. I don't think we're going to have enough time, but you never know. Construction. Oh, okay. Ah, uh, sixth episode of racial profiling. So this is the Rayleigh. Raleigh. 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 Theocracy. Their stated mission is to destroy all life known in the known galaxy for the glory of the Elder Gods. So these are the religious zealots. Everything they do is based on this holy war thing, and they get some really nice bonuses for that. Um, we'll talk about that another time. The Elder God will destroy the unbelievers. He suffers not fools and worships worshippers of false idols. Pay us a tithe to satisfy his hunger or face the consequences. Yeah, perhaps not. Whatever the case, we think the Raleigh are strong contenders for this cycle's champion. Until next time, this has been GNN. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> I just want to get to our new plat. Oh, manifest failure. Oh man. We missed it by one turn. Oh, we could have used that money. Oh. <laughs> Dang it. Oh, that sucks. Look, we're here. We could colonize now. Or in one turn. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Oh, man, that sucks. Okay, so let's just check our home planet. What are we building? We are working on one more dark ghost. Yeah, it's good to have a few of those extra. Macromanage. <laughs> Oh, okay, one more. There we go. And uh, every one of these that we build uh, is adding to the amount of command points that are available or not available to us. And once we reach nine, we don't want to go any further. So I'm kind of hoping that those pirates are still here. They might not be. I don't know. We'll just travel out a little bit and see what happens. Okay, we are colonizing. Yes. Now. This planet is going to be starving at the get-go, I believe, just like everywhere else. And uh, we're going to start off by building the automated rover. Yeah, let's do the automated rover just like we did with the other one. Yep. And we're going to send some guys out here. We're going to do it one at a time. Actually, what we could do... Let's do that. So that's one freighter. Oh, did we... We were mismanaging our, our colony here. <laughs> Uh, we had this guy in food production when we didn't need to. Yeah, we didn't need to have him in food production. Oh, well, we need him now. <sighs> oh, well. Okay, so, and we could send out a couple more guys. We'll send out one. One at a time, because well, I don't want to lose him, right? So we'll send out one more guy to this system to help work on the stuff. And because of the angle, we might bypass the Guardian and everything, because it's going to come this angle instead of this angle. Okay, there's our pirates. Let's attack the pirates. I think we have enough time for that. Let's do it. Oh, yeah. We still have like six minutes left. Okay, so let's let's do it. <laughs> uh, turn. Uh, intercepting. Okay, so there's only two. I don't know if those are frigates or cruisers. I think they're frigates. I could be wrong. They might be cruisers. Either way, they weren't that tough before. Let's see. All right, so we're going to send our little ships. Well, let's get all our little ships together up north, and maybe we can divide that fleet that would be kind of cool, because I think our main cruiser should be able to handle, or should ha maybe I should have everybody stick together. I think we'll have everybody stick together so that maybe the small ships can steal fire. Uh, yeah. Distract one of them. I don't know. Let's keep everybody together this time. All right. Begin. We're going to have him start. Oh, they're fighters. Okay, that's fine. And we want to operate at... Yeah, that range is good. And these guys... I don't want to go too fast, because it doesn't matter. So we could have him just stop right now. Let's let's do that. Uh, no point in moving. We're going to crush those... Why can't I... Ah, there we go. Control 1. Let's, let's go. Let's take out some fighters. There we go. 
Nice. Nice. Pretty much, see these carriers, um, they don't have much outside, they shouldn't have that much on their ships beyond uh, just fighters. So, because fighter bays take up so much space. So let's start moving here. Hold on. Oh, not retreat. I didn't mean to retreat. Ah, blast. Keep moving. That's what I meant to do. Okay, and I want him to focus all of his firepower, as much of his firepower on one of them. Ah, we may be in trouble. We are actually starting to take some, deer, some damage. But... I, I can't afford to lose a ship right now. Okay, yeah, we're retreating. <laughs> ah, okay, so we need at least a couple of these ships. Though that ordnance, it just does so much damage. We took out all of their fighters, though, which means it's going to take time for them to replenish them. Uh, so we can maybe go heal. Nah, yeah, we'll net. We won't get back here in time before they replenish those. Before they uh, replenish those fighters. So yeah, blast. Last. Okay, kind of a waste of resources there. I thought maybe we could take it out. We did do some damage, just not enough. Yeah, we are defeated. Okay, but we didn't lose the ship. We just can't afford to lose that cruiser right now. Just too much too much went into it. We need another one. We need a few of them, actually. So, so those pirate ships are actually... So we've got more pirates coming in. What is going on? Uh, three? Two frigates and a cruiser. <laughs> Unbelievable! Every time, I, near the every time I end a video of Star Drive Two, it's it feels like it's going to be the last video <laughs> or almost the last video. Okay, so we're gonna send this in this way, uh, the fuel tanker. I'm surprised that the pirates didn't go after the fuel tanker, um, but yeah, whatever, whatever, dude. Okay, and you're gonna build the automated rover bay, and we're probably not gonna, those freighters are probably gonna get chewed up. We could. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what to do. I have no idea. We need to go repair this fleet. All right, what are we building at home? A uh, research lab? Do we have time for a research lab right now? Honestly, I don't think we do. I think we're just going to push that back. Uh, we do need the Imperial Bank. That is more important. And we need more dark ghosts and citizens. <sighs> so much. So much we need to build. Dark ghosts. Yeah, we can pump that up to two. The dark ghosts didn't help as much as I was hoping they would this last battle. Uh, okay, turn. <laughs> Fusion power. Okay, so we could actually do some redesigns of our ships now. Uh, let's. Do we have enough time for a redesign? Ah, uh, we don't. Okay, so we're gonna call that an episode. I'm really enjoying this. Like I said, this has been a challenge all round. Next episode, we're gonna be designing or redesigning our ships. That'll be pretty quick. And then we're gonna maybe design kind of a mid-class fighter with some ordnance because I don't know. I don't know. Or something to take out fighters, because it seems like we're facing a lot of uh, fight ships car carriers with a lot of fighters. So, I don't know. Well, at least we've got three systems now. That's good, but we're still not putting a lot into research. And uh, this is just a new planet without the charging hub. And, yeah, we're yeah, it's tough. It's tricky. Anyway, guys, I hope you're enjoying my Star Drive 2 series. This has been an amazing challenge so far, and I'm really looking forward to the next episode. Take care.